Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores as we head into this final toss-up round on Battle of the Brains. For this round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled. And there is no deduction for an incorrect answer. Again, in this virtual version of Battle of the Brains, we'll direct questions to each team alternating between them. Players will raise their hand and wait to be called on to answer. Our first question in this final round goes to Dinwiddie High School. Dinwiddie, what Virginia city boasts two world-class universities that are literally neighbors to each other, VMI and Washington and Lee? Sadie. Williamsburg. That would be Lexington. Fork Union, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. The 10th term of the Fibonacci series can be found by knowing that the first two terms of the series are both one, and each subsequent term is the sum of the previous two. Use this information to find the 10th term. And that 10th term would be 55. Dinwiddie, this firstborn son of Cronus, was swallowed by his father along with his siblings Zeus and Poseidon. The passage of the seasons resulted from his later abduction of Demeter's daughter, Persephone. Name this Greek god of the underworld, Jonathan. Hades. That is correct. Fork Union, this waxy substance found in your blood is often described in terms of HDL and LDL. What is this substance that in elevated levels can lead to coronary artery disease? Blood sugar? Oh. I didn't see a hand raised, but Jackson, no, it is actually cholesterol. Dinwiddie, this statue was discovered on a Greek island in 1820. Identify this now famous statue of a woman on display at the Louvre that is missing its arms. Hope, Hope go ahead. Venus? That is, I need you to be more specific. Um, the... Execution of Venus? It's actually Venus de Milo, or we would have accepted Aphrodite of Melos. Fork Union, in 1870, it was the last of the Confederate states to be readmitted to the Union, home to the cities of Macon and Valdosta. What is the state that was the last of the 13 English colonies to be established in North America? Usman. Uh, Georgia. That is correct. Dinwiddie, an expectation of finding gold on its shores led a 16th century explorer to name this island chain after an Israelite king known for his riches. Name this chain southeast of New Guinea whose islands include Guadalcanal. Jonathan. The Solomon Islands. That is correct. Fork Union, he returned from a conference in Munich proclaiming he had achieved peace for our time. Name this man who failed to prevent World War II by appeasing Adolf Hitler with Czech territory. Jackson. Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain. That is correct. Dimwitty, he won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1962. Name this author of Grapes of Wrath, East of Eden, and the 1937 novella of Mice and Men. Sadie. Whitman. That would be John Steinbeck. Fork Union. In 1832, an A was removed from this city's name to shorten it to a newspaper's masthead. The site of NASA's Glenn, John Glenn Research Center lies at the mouth of the Cuyahoga River. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is located in what Lake Erie port city? Dino. Cleveland. That is correct. Cleveland rocks. Dimwitty, seven men have died while holding this position, the first being George Clinton. Two men have resigned from the position, John Calhoun and Spiro Agnew. Name this government post. Hope? Secretary of State. It's actually the Vice President of the United States. For not go to Fork Union for a final question. That's the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score for you, we do want to remind you how to stay connected with Battle of the Brains. To find out more about our show, just log on to battleofthebrains.net. 
You'll also find Battle of the Brains on Facebook and full episodes of our show on our YouTube page. And as we continue round one of this new season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week when we virtually welcome teams from Fuqua School in Farmville and Isle of Wight Academy in Isle of Wight County. And this is how our match ends today. Our team with, from Dinwiddie High School ends with 95 points. A good job today by Hope, Sadie, Jonathan, and Milton. Our final score for the Fork Union Military Academy, 220 points. Great job by our team members today, and we will see you in the next round. Congratulations. Thanks so much for joining us and watching along here on Battle of the Brains. We'll be back and see you next Saturday morning. Great job, teams. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan.